In this video, we're going to talk about what can be done to reduce the electrical noise that is generated by the drive's uh, PWM circuit uh, that's caused on the motors in general. Um, so this is a pretty common occurrence for any kind of VFD, uh, not just a Schneid electric drive, but any other brand will have the same kind of problems from time to time depending on the application. And other factors such as whether you're using a shielded cable or not, um, how well you have separated your control cabling to your power cabling, um, are you running multiple motor uh, wiring on the same conduit uh, for multiple motors in general. So those factors definitely can affect the noise induced on your motor. Now, if it's something on the drive side of things, um, there's a couple of things it can do. Depends on the actual drive's part number. But let's go ahead and show you what we can do on the 630 and the 930 drive line, but this will still apply to any drive that you have. So the first thing you can really do is change the switching frequency on the drive. And um, this is basically your gating frequency. Um, you can try to adjust that usually lower to reduce the noise, but um, there's also some other factors that can contribute to it. But let's just go ahead and get started here to show you what that would look like on a 630 drive as an example. Uh, from your complete settings, you enter on that from the main menu and go down to motor parameters. And then you want to go all the way down to switching frequency. And you want to enter on that. So uh, on this drive, uh, not only can you adjust uh, switching frequency, but you also can enable the noise reduction to yes, which is the next parameter down right here. Uh, on other drives, the like the 6171 or the 312 or whatever have you, the only really tool that you have is adjusting your switching frequency. So uh, the number here is the default value on the right. And let's say we enter on that, and it will tell you the min and max value that's possible on this drive. And a um, couple of things though, again, you, you, you don't want to go too high here in the event that you make it higher because you may end up overheating your application and your drive. So keep in mind there's a limit on how high you can go. In fact, if you have an output filter or sinus filter, whatever have you, it actually, it's even more of a limitation on that aspect as well. So, uh, but I said before in the past that in most cases, the number one thing that people do is reduce the uh, value here. So you can go try to go lower here and see if it's any better. Um, you, can, you can adjust a little bit at a time, see if it makes a difference or not. There's a, a parameter also called noise reduction. You can even enable that on the 630 and the 930 drive line. That's another option you can try to do. And in some rare cases, you can even go ahead and adjust your motor control type if it's applicable. Um, it's all right here on the 630 and 930 drives. You can, um, again, you don't want to make it, uh, just you don't want to just change it just because you want to because it's some applications that require torque. You want to keep it uh, as standard or uh, on the 930, just leave them as default, I guess. But um, so this is something that I would try as a last resort if your application allows it.